Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. Vice President Kamala Harris is in Guatemala today, making her first international trip as border czar. She was appointed to that post 75 days ago. Still no border visits. Tomorrow she will meet with the president of Mexico, but again, not at the border. Joining us now to talk more about what's going on down there, the former acting Border Patrol Commissioner Mark Morgan is with us and the editor at large of the Impunity Observer and a resident of Guatemala, where the vice president is today, Stephen Heck, back with us this morning. Gentlemen, good morning to both of you. Nice to see you. Thanks. Nice to be back with you, Rob. Uh, Mark, we'll, we'll start with you. Um, we've had many crises at the southern border, uh, particularly over the last 50 years, but I don't think we've ever had an administration that's driving policy that doesn't seem to have any interest in ending what's actually going on at the border. W why do you think that is? Look, Rob, you and I have talked before. Look, I've been doing this for 35 years, and because of what they're doing makes no sense from a national security, economic security perspective and a border security perspective for this nation, Look, I can draw no other conclusion they're doing this from a perceived political benefit. They believe that every illegal alien they give a pathway to citizenship is going to equate to a Democratic vote. They think they're going to get a, a, a you know increase in the House uh, seats be because that on the census you can include uh, illegal aliens as well. And that could go on and on. But look, the, the trip to for, from the VP down to, to the Northern Triangle countries, it, it's it's just it's symbolic. Look, we've known what the root causes are for decades. We, administration after administration have been dealing with the Northern Triangle countries to address the root causes. But this is what I'll say, is those root causes are not mutually exclusive from the crisis at our border. Right. We're the greatest nation on the face of Earth. We should be able to do both, continue to work with the Northern Triangle countries while making sure that our policies secure our borders and stem the flow of the, the greatest crisis we've seen our, our, at our, our southern border, really in our nation's history. And I think as a nation, we've been focused on, on cause, but also effect. And it's just bizarre that this administration has no interest in dealing with the effect which is happening uh, along our southern border right now as thousands of people pour across every single month. Um, Stephen, Vice President Harris is, is in Guatemala today. She's going to be talking again about those, those root causes of the problem, apparently. Uh, what, what's the vibe down there right now? Are people excited that she's there? Uh, are, are people aware that she's there? People are aware that she's here, and they're not excited that she's here. And the message that they're giving is, don't come here and impose on us. The people that you've been dealing with uh, are criminals, are ideologues, socialists, and the policies that uh, you appear to be following uh, are going to uh, harm the country and create more migration. Mark, could you react to that? This is the first time the vice president is, is traveling on her own without the president's her first uh, international trip uh, of any note. Well, do you agree with uh, with Stephen there in that assessment? The people of, of Guatemala, and I, I know many of these Northern Triangle countries, they, they, they're not welcoming the vice president with open arms here. So Stephen is absolutely right. Look, I've been there. I've traveled to all three countries in the Northern Triangle country. I talked to my counterparts as the, the acting commissioner of customs and border protection. I talked to leaders of those worlds, uh, of each one of those countries. And look, here's one thing each of them said independently. Please, United States, fix your broken immigration system. Stop encouraging and, faci and facilitating our, uh, our citizens, the future of our country, leaving our country. Stop encouraging our, our 16, 17-year-olds from leaving our country hmm. and going to the United States. That's exactly what we did under the Trump administration. Look, another uh, point of distraction that this administration w wants to put out to the American people, like, like we weren't working with the Northern Triangle countries. We were. We had actually secured unprecedented agreement, and not just on immigration, but but their border security, internal security. I could go on and on about the incredible progress that we had made with the Northern Triangle countries that this administration, with a stroke of a pen, got rid of without a single communication to them until now. It's absolutely unbelievable, and we're not talking about it enough, Rob. Stephen, uh, you brought up that maybe this is just for show. We've seen pictures outside the U.S. Embassy there uh, saying, Harris, get out of Guatemala, uh, which is not something you generally see, especially outside a U.S. Embassy. Um, but you mentioned that this might be for show. And I think going on a trip like this, you, it sort of gives the vice president the chance to sort of look presidential. She gets off Air Force Two. She has the, the official uh, greeting there and the welcoming committee. Um, do you think this is all part of sort of a, a bigger plan? Sure it is. Uh, they appointed her in the first place to distract from the border, as Mark is saying, and uh, we've discussed going back into the end of December. 
uh, the, the Biden administration is purposely pulling people to the United States. Yeah. And by uh, sending uh, naming Harris as border czar, they're essentially saying, we're going to fix the problem at its root. But they don't have any clue how to fix the problem at its root. Unfortunately for them, their ideology is, is hemming them in. They're talking to the wrong people. They're talking to socialists. They're talking to people uh, Harris met in the White House uh, a couple of weeks ago with uh, uh, three Guatemalans, well, four, but two of them were former uh, prosecutor generals, and uh, the other one was a former judge. And these people are heavily promoted. Uh, two of them have arrest warrants. The other one couldn't come back That's here. That's a good point. And, yeah. and, and, and they are in the United States. And these are the people. This message to Guatemala is a devastating message. And it's it's saying to the Guatemalan government, uh, we're, we're supporting these criminals and you are corrupt. How do you deal with somebody that you're calling corrupt? Stephen, I, I want to get to a quick soundbite, if, if I could interrupt you just for a moment. Mark, I'd like to get your reaction. President Trump was talking about the border on Saturday in North Carolina. Uh, really the first time we've heard the former president speak about this crisis that did not exist five months ago. Take a listen. We gave the new administration the most secure border in U.S. history. We had the most secure border in the history of our country, and that included drugs, that included human trafficking, which is a magnificently horrible and big business. Is anything he said not true right there? Everything the president has said is absolutely spot on. I will say this, and I will continue to say this, Rob. This administration, the president is right, this administration received the most secure border in our nation's history. From, from an authority standpoint, from a policy standpoint, from a tools and resources standpoint, and we were getting every, we were getting better every single day. And it wasn't just what we were doing on our southern border, it's what we were doing on the interior, and it's the historic agreements that we had gotten right. across the line with the government of Mexico and the northern triangle countries, all that together to address this is the regional crisis that it is. He's absolutely correct. Mark Morgan, Stephen Heck, great seeing you gentlemen both. Thanks so much for coming on with us this morning. We appreciate it. You Thank bet. you very much, Rob. All right, stay with us. A lot more Wake Up America coming up after the break. We'll be right back.